Well, hello, everybody. It's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. We're in this series about going deeper. Well, on the weekend, I attended Mass in a Catholic parish where in a few weeks' time, I and my team are going to present a Lenten mission for Lent. We're going to do a number of them in a whole number of different places. And I came unannounced. I sat up the back and I listened And I watched actually videos that we had made to promote the parish mission because they're promoting it right now. And I listened to people talk about what was happening and encouraging people to go. And it occurred to me that when people come to this mission, as they will to these missions in their thousands, that what will happen is that is that is that many of these people will go deeper because of what God will do in their life. The spiritual life is not static. It's about deeper and deeper and deeper. It's about our prayer becoming more and more a communion with God, more and more an intimate meeting with God. And that's, that's what the whole point of these daily devotionals are. Uh, last night I watched a movie called Hidden Figures and it was a fi- it's a movie about the early space program in the United States when they were putting a man up to go around the earth. And the operations manager at one point talks to one of the uh, mathematicians, of which so much of it is maths, isn't it, uh, for what they were doing, their calculations, and says to the mathematician, look beyond the figures. Look beyond to what you can't see. Look for answers that we don't even know the questions for right, right now. And in many ways, that's what our spiritual life is like, but so, but so much more. Often, I'm going to read the passages of the scriptures now. And and so often what we do is we listen to the words. I want to say to you, listen beyond the words to what God might be doing within you so that it would draw you more deeply into his presence. That's the whole point of the daily devotion, to be drawn more deeply into his presence. We're going to read from Luke's Gospel, chapter 4. And this is the story of Jesus going into the synagogue, as was he, he regularly did, And he gets to do the reading and he reads from the prophet Isaiah, which foretells of a Messiah, foretells of him. And at the end of it, he says to them, this is being fulfilled in your midst today. In other words, da-da, it's me. And there are people who ridicule him ultimately, are amazed by his, how, the, the quality of his speech, but also are ridiculing of him saying, how could this happen in our town? How could this be the boy of someone that we know? Isn't this the kid that used to run around the village? And, and Jesus turns around and he says, people, prophets aren't even known in their own town. And in your own life, as you've pursued being who God has called you to be, in your family, in your work, in the person that you are, have there been people who stopped and said to you, you can't be the person that God's called you to be because you're you. Have a look at this passage of scripture. Chapter 4, verse 16. When he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. In other words, he went regularly. He stood up to read and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him and he unrolled the scroll and he found the place where it is written. He's handed the scroll. He goes and finds the place. He clearly wanted to say something to them. And then he reads what some people describe as his job description, why he came. Have a look at this. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor, he sent me to proclaim the release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind and to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. That's what he read for Messiah. This is what I'm here to do. And he unrolled the scroll, gave it back to the attendant and sat down. Now, uh, to many of us, we wouldn't uh, understand this. When we today listen to speakers, the speaker stands that way they can be seen. But in those days, when, uh, when the, in the synagogue, when you sat, you then spoke, you, you spoke with authority. So preach it, the preaching point or the authority posture was to sit. And he, he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant and sat down. The eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. And then he began to say to them, today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. I'm the fulfillment, everybody. All spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious works that came from his mouth. They said, 
Is not this Joseph's son? And he said to them, Doubtless you will quote to me this proverb, Doctor, cure yourself. And you will say, Do here also in your hometown the things that we have heard you did at Capernaum. See, his reputation had gone before him. People had heard of these amazing things that he was doing. Some people stopped and go, How could you do that? You know? Uh, and he said, Truly I tell you, no prophet is accepted in the prophet's hometown. Now, you can read that at just the word level, or you can read that as the living word of God and say, Lord, take me deeper. Take me deeper. Apply this to me. Apply this to who you are. Jesus comes and Jesus is in their midst. Jesus is, grows up with people all around him. And yet there are people who don't see him. How often is Jesus in our lives, in the people around us, in, the, in our heart? And sometimes we don't see him. I'm sad to say that's me at times. I don't see Jesus. I'm better at it today than I was, but still, I'm not perfect at it. Where do we need to see Jesus in our everyday life? Where do we not need to just be amazed by his amazing words? but rather see him and be able to accept him for who he is. Elsewhere, it's, Jesus says, I couldn't do any miracles in my hometown because they just couldn't get over. Isn't this Joseph's boy? Isn't this just the kid who used to run around? Today, why don't you and I pray, Lord, open my eyes that I would see you. Lord, open my heart that I would know you. Open my feelings that I would experience you. Open my spirit so that I would become overcome with you. Make that your prayer today, that the Holy Spirit would reveal Jesus within you, within you. We can know the stories, but go deeper. Go deeper to that place of encountering the presence of Jesus where you are. Where is it in your life that you don't recognize Jesus? Where is it in your life that you need to allow what Jesus came into the world to do? His job description to set us free, to cure us from blindness, to lift us up from oppression. Where do you need to allow Jesus to do that in your heart? Doesn't mean anyone will understand it, but you will know it within yourself. Loving Father, we thank you today that you're with us. Reveal yourself to us. May we know you deeper and deeper today. And Father, we make this prayer in Jesus' name through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all, everybody. See you tomorrow. And don't forget, wherever you are, God is never far from you.